Hello. So, I got myself a nice new camera for graduation, which I'm pretty excited about because now I can make those nice HD videos that look all cool. And hopefully you can actually hear what I'm saying because the sound's a little better. So technically this video is a day late, so I figured to punish myself, I would talk about some awkward instances of my past. And somewhat present. So the first one comes through kind of a more young part of my life. When I was in fourth grade, I was sitting in the back of my class, and at the time I had probably potentially the meanest teacher you could possibly imagine. She was just strict and liked to pick on the kids and she held grudges, and that's not what you do when you're a fourth grade teacher. Well, on a day, one day we were watching this video, and I decided that I couldn't see too well, so I asked the teacher if I could scoot up a few feet so I could see it better, and she just sort of did a whole, oh, fine. Anyway, after that I scooted up, and I realized I only had to scoot up about five inches, and I guess potentially I could have scooted around some desks, but for some odd reason the idea of, like, scooting around these other desks seemed, like, too embarrassing for me, so I just sort of kept where I was, which was like five inches forward. And ironically, where this place was, was the kid that a lot of people considered for me to have a crush on. I don't know if I quite did, it was a long time ago, but anyway. As soon as I scooted up, the teacher looks at me and kind of goes, Really? You only had to scoot up that much? And of course all the kids in the back suddenly start giggling a bit, and I know what they're thinking. You're thinking I'm going after that guy, and of course that guy I'm sitting by is all weird. But it was fourth grade, the times have changed, and I'm not holding grudges. The second story is much more recent, as recent as in yesterday. So basically what happened is I was meeting up with someone for the very first time, and the thing was when I meet someone for the very first time, I get very nervous about very small stupid things, like using the bathroom, or making small requests for myself. So I realized when I was on the train on the way up that my contact had a little thing in it, and so I had to take it out or else it would start hurting like crazy. But I didn't really want to do it on the train, because I felt if I did that, it would like get lost somewhere because the train's all jiggly, so I figured I'd do it at the station. But then I panicked, because I knew the fact that I would have to, at the station, find this girl and then be like, wait, let's stop by the bathroom so I can then put on my contacts. Which, for some odd reason, freaked me out, because I guess asking someone if you can put on your contacts is socially unacceptable. I don't know. Well, anyway, so I wouldn't have to go downstairs and like run past her. I decided that instead I would stop in the nearby Bath and Body Works that I saw, and I asked to use their mirror and sink. Which was probably a weird request for them, considering there's a bathroom right underneath. But they were very sweet people, they let me do it, and I ended up buying a little thing of hand sanitizer to make myself feel like I at least didn't just steal their mirror and sink. Best part is, on the way home, I saw that lady again. And as a bonus story, I can't handle haunted houses. Like, it's pretty bad. My dad took me, I believe, in seventh grade to this haunted house, but it was too scary so I had to run away. The next day, they had like the matinee, which was the kid version, which was lighter and nice. And I ran out crying again. In front of like, I think, eight-year-olds. But that's all I have for today. If you have any awkward stories of your past, feel free to share them in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and if you did like this video, remember to like it and subscribe.